and scroll down to, oh, I'm sorry, you guys don't scroll. I just want you to draw a line underneath your warm up, and I need you to copy down this page of notes. Lesson 8.3, multiplying binomials, and our objective, which is to multiply two binomials or a binomial by a trinomial. In our first example, 2x plus 4 times 3x minus 7. Interruption. Gabriel Correa. Please come to student services. Gabriel Correa, come to student services, please. Someone tell me, how does this look different than what we're used to? Aunt Ashton? Yeah. Normally, we see like 3x and then we're multiplying it by like 9x minus two, right? In this case, we've got two separate binomials and they're being multiplied by each other, okay? All we do, guys, is we treat them as two monomials times a binomial. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break this up and we're gonna write the two x over here and the plus four over here, okay? Now, the two x, came from the first term in the first parentheses, and the four came as the second term in the first parentheses. Now, since they're both being multiplied by three x minus seven, that's all we fill in, is we fill in three x minus seven here. So this is gonna have a three x minus seven next to the two x. What's going on? And then there's also gonna be a three x minus seven over here. So we just took that binomial times that binomial and created two, two situations where all we need to do is distribute, okay? So this two x is gonna get distributed as well as to the negative seven. This 4 is going to get distributed to the 3x as well as to the negative 7. When we distribute, don't forget, we multiply. So this is going to be 2x times 3x plus 2x times negative 7 plus 4 times 3x plus 4 times negative 7. Okay, before I go any further, are there any questions on this step? All I did was I distributed the first set and the second set, so that 2x got distributed to the 3x and the minus seven, and the four got distributed to the 3x and the minus seven as well. Any questions? Okay, 2x times 3x. Who's been pretty good about that stuff and knows what that is? Maya? 6x, but we're missing something. Roy? 6x to the second power, okay? Because these x's multiplied together is going to give us x squared. You see that, Maya? Okay, 2x times negative 7. Alan? 
booyah, negative 14x. And four times three x. Nicole? Mm-hmm. And my last one, four times negative seven. Rioni? Good, minus 28. Now, we're almost done. Why are we not done? Does anyone see it? Carlos? Good. What do we call two terms that have the same variable? Like terms, so we can combine them, okay? So we're going to get actually 6x squared, and then what? Alan? Negative. Minus 2x. Very good. And then minus 28. Now are we done? Why? There's nothing else to combine. Everything else is a different term. There's an x squared, there's an x, and then there's a 28 with no x at all, okay? You with me, Nicole? Yeah. Okay. Angelina, you with me? All right. Okay, peeps. One more the long way, and then I'll show you the shortcut, okay? One more the long way, and then I'll show you the shortcut. X minus 6, 4X plus 3. Who, no, 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 no. Let's do it together. But who remembers? What's the first thing that I need to do? Alan, what is it? Good. Break up the first one. So let's write this x over here. And what's the other term? Minus 6. What do I write next to those? Yes. So I'm going to write the 4x plus 3 next to each of them. Who remembers what I do next? Nicole? Very good. Let's distribute. So how do I distribute, Nicole? Mm-hmm. Good. And the other one? Excellent. So this is going to be x times 4x plus x times 3 minus 6 times 4x minus 6 times 3. All right, what's that blue term going to become? Alan? Good. 4x squared. Why x squared? Very good. The x's are being multiplied, so we add their exponents. Serena, what's the red term going to become? Excellent. And Serena, one more. What about the black term? Excellent. And Jessica, the green term? Good. Alyssa, if I told you there was something else that we still need to do, do you know what it is? Alyssa. Uh, what was the question? If I told you there was still something else we need to do, would you know what it is? Uh, uh, like terms. Very good. Which two are the like terms? Uh, is it 3x and negative 24x? Very good. Nicole, what do we get when we combine those two? Negative Excellent. Negative 21x. But remember, we need to keep the 4x squared and the minus 18. Roy, how do I know that I'm done? 
Why not? We don't, why can't we combine the 4x squared and the minus 21x? Excellent, okay? The 21x, the x's exponent is one, the x's exponent is two in the first term, okay? Are we ready for the shortcut? Okay, shortcut time, people. All you need to do is remember the acronym FOIL, F-O-I-L, F-O-I-L. And I'm gonna explain why all you need to remember is FOIL. Okay, let's check it out. Now, I want you guys to try to come up with why it's called FOIL before I give it to you, okay? So let's take a look at the F in FOIL. The F is purple, right? Look at that first arrow, that purple arrow. Why do you think the purple arrow is the letter F? Why do you think the purple arrow is the letter F? What do you think the F stands for? First, First. why? Very good. It's the first two terms from each parentheses, okay? Now, look at the letter O, which is blue, and look at the blue arrow. What do you think the O stands for? Mm, opposite over close. My last class got it. What do you think the O stands for? Anyone on Zoom have any ideas? Is, there, is it outer? Oh, very close, Tessa. It's outside, okay? Outside. The O stands for outside, okay? Because we take the two outside terms that are on the very end and we multiply those together. What about the red one? Inside. Inside. And L for the green one? Last. The last. Okay, make sure you have this down because this is a great guide for you guys, okay? F-O-I-L. If you don't have different colors for them, just put like an F above this arrow, an O above this arrow, an L above this one, I'm sorry, an I above that one, and then an L above the green one, okay? Should look something like that. F-O-I-L, foil. Now, what we just did was we did exactly what we were doing before where we were distributing to everything, but we just did it in one step, not in two, okay? All right, so we're gonna check out how it works. So if we're distributing, okay, all I want you to do is write FOIL on the right side, F-O-I-L, and as we draw the arrows, I want you to cross them off. So where does the F arrow go? From what to what? Alan? From the X to the other X. Good. Cross out the F. O. Janessa, from X to 4, good, because O stands for outside, I, Alan, from the 7 to the X, and L, yep, from 7 to 4, okay, now, what do each of these arrows represent? What operation are we doing? Distribute. Yes, and distribute, we do use what operation? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division? Multiplication. multiplication. So let's multiply each time we see an arrow. So we're gonna take x and multiply it by what? 
x. Then we're going to take x and multiply it by 4. Then we're going to take 7 and multiply it by x. And then we're going to take 7 and multiply it by 4. Each arrow represents multiplication, and then we multiply each of the terms that are the two endpoints of that arrow. So x times x, x times 4, 7 times x, and 7 times 4. Okay, now let's start to simplify. x times x, Angelina, what am I going to get? Uh-uh. Oh, x to the second power. x to the second power. Angelina P, what about x times 4? What does that become? And x times 7? 7x. 7x. And the last term. Roy? Um, 20. 20 what? 28. Oh, I, I heard 20. I didn't hear 28. Okay, are we done? Por que no? That means why not, people? Nicole? Mm -hmm. And what are they? 4x and 7x. Good. When we combine those, what do we get, people? x squared plus 11x plus 28. Now, I'm going to do something that's wrong. Okay? And I want you guys to explain why it's wrong. I saw a lot of people on their quiz in period A go, okay, this is x squared plus, okay, 11x squared plus 28. What did they do and what, why is it wrong? Ashton, can you explain it? Yeah, they added the 4 and the 7, but do, when aren't you supposed to add the exponents? They, they added the x, which has a 1, and they added this one. Why, why is that wrong? Very good. You only do that when you're multiplying. When you're adding, all you do is you add the numerical portions together. So that would be 4 plus 11, and it would stay as x. Okay? I want to make sure we're all clear on that. This is no bueno. Wrong. Okay. Your turn, peeps. Foil it. Okie doke. Where does my F arrow go? It's right out foil. Let's do it. F O I L. Elijah. What does that F arrow go? Good. 2R to the R. And then the O arrow? Yes. 2R to my 1. The I arrow. Nicole? Mm -hmm. But it's not 3. What is it? Negative 3. And the L arrow, Angelina L. To one. Let's foil it. What's my first term going to be? Alan? Mm-hmm. Second term? Go ahead, Alan. Third term, Giancarlo? Giancarlo, what's my third term? Hello? Yeah, what's my third term? Um, negative three times R. Mm -hmm. And Gabby P, last term. There we go. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, Tessa, what's the red term gonna be? Um, two R squared. 
Excellent. Let's go. And the blue term. Juan, you're up. Uh-huh. That was easy. Give me the green one, too, Juan. Um, negative three R. Good. And the black term, Nick Martinez. Negative three. Good. <coughs> um, Alexa, would you say we're done? Wait, can you repeat what you said? You cut off. Would you say we're finished? Why not? Because. Mm, we're not finished because. Wait. I think we are. Yes, we're finished. Okay. Rioni, are we finished? No. Yes? No. No, why not? Okay, but what. No, we're done. We simplified everything. What's missing? He said it. What? He said it. What did you say? He said it. Oh, like terms. What are the like terms, Rowney? Um, Excellent. So, Rowney, give me the entire expression in its simplified form. Um, two, two R no, not, uh, negative one R. Mm-hmm. Minus three. Minus three. Beautiful.